Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my little corner. And if you're an OG, welcome back. Happy Wednesday, guys. It is good to see you. I am happy to be here, and I hope you are too. Um, today, we're going to do something a little different. We're not going to do an LP, and we're not going to do a cast video. Um, this is sort of a tutorial kind of, sort of, but we are standing in Windenburg in front of uh, Windenburg Creative and Performing Arts High School. This is a commercial lot um, that is currently in my uh, LP, Journey to Redemption, if you guys are familiar with that. If you're not, I'm going to link a uh, link of that LP in the, the description below and also in the I cords so I cords the I cards so you can take a look at that at your leisure however that is not why we're here um I have been coming across a lot of videos lately uh in the sims community about what their favorite uh game pack stuff pack expansion pack is and it seems to be uh unanimous that uh, get together and get to work are the most mm, not unliked or uh, unfavorite of the two expansion packs. Now, I will have to say that get to work is not one of my favorite expansion packs. I certainly don't use it very often, if at all. Um, I well, I shouldn't say if all, if at all. I do use the careers, but I don't. Um, I don't partake in the career gameplay so I just use the careers as you know obviously for the sims to have to make money but I don't necessarily play with that pack you know in general now as far as get together is concerned I actually really like um, the expansion pack why because I enjoy Windenburg as um, the town, I really love the aesthetic of it, um, all the trees, it's, it's very, it has a very country, old English look, which um, I, I love. Um, I am a country girl at heart. I love grass and trees and, and um, greenery, and so Windenburg um, is right up my alley. Now, that's not necessarily exactly all the reasons why I love Windenburg, but its feature, um, I guess its main feature are the clubs and a lot of people don't actually use the clubs. Well, I have found a way to use clubs. So let's get into the game a little bit so I can show you what I'm talking about. Now I realize that most of our um, community have heard about the the possible next expansion being tropical paradise and some of us were hoping for university i was one of them but i will certainly enjoy tropical paradise or paradise island whatever they choose to call it <clears throat> excuse me i apologize um frog in my throat anyway so i um will play it regardless because i love new content in the game now i'm here at windenburg high school excuse me with um, one of my uh, sims. His name is Geo Hargraves and his sister, Keely Hargraves. Um, this, they are, well, Geo is Nico Champion's best friend and Keely hangs out with Tatiana Blake. Um, so I brought them here. One, we don't get to see them much in the game. Um, so I wanted to introduce them a little. And here's another sim that, uh, let me see I don't want to get too much into it Sage Evans she is another one that we don't get to talk to very much or if at all but that's not important we're not here for that all right so I have them here at Windenburg High School because I wanted to show you something really quick this is how this is one of the ways that you can actually use clubs to enhance your gameplay now I'm a firm believer in using script mods because I do use a few in my game. However, I do realize that some of us don't like them or don't or prefer, not don't like them, don't prefer to use them because one, their rigs can't handle them or, you know, they just don't use script mods and, and that's fine. Um, it is certainly a preference. Um, but we all want schools. We won't. Well, some of us want schools some of us want that gameplay in our game so i figured out a way to include that um, and just getting a little creative by using clubs so how do i do that well i built a high school um 
And how I set it up was quite easy, really. And that's why I'm saying this is not really a tutorial, but this is a good way to uh, utilize a game pack or expansion that you haven't used before. And, you know, an introduction for maybe some new simmers in the community that um, haven't delved into the, the expansion and perhaps decided to purchase it and don't really know what to do with it. All right, so the clubs here are quite simple. Well, how I use it, I should say, is quite simple. I set up different quote unquote classrooms. Um, so here I have a gardening classroom. Um, and then I have here a uh, art room. I have a science and technology room. I also have a music class. And if, I, if we go down um, over here through the common area, I also I have a gymnasium, a swimming pool, and in the basement I have a workout room. So we see Gio is actually standing here in the workout room, not doing much at all. But he is, if we go over to his information, I think, let's see. Is, can we do it this way? Okay, so he's a part of three different clubs. Advanced Music, the Windenburg Wildcats, and Still Can't Sit With Us. Well, Still Can't Sit With Us, uh, for those of you uh, who are fans of Mean Girls, um, yeah, you'll know what that means. Anyway, so he is in Advanced Music. Advanced Music happens to meet in this classroom right here. And um, the Windenburg Wildcats happen to meet here in the gymnasium, uh, the Windenburg Wildcats is the basketball team for the high school. And they also have access to uh, the workout room. Now this is kind of how my high school was set up um, growing up. Well, the high school that I went to, um, the gymnasium was upstairs, of course, that's most high schools. And then any like workout um, area or for the teams was downstairs, locker rooms and things like that. Of course, this is a little fancy, but this school is meant to be a private school and kind of for um, the rich kids, wealthier family. So I did make it a little more fancy than a normal high school would be. Um, but you can see what I did here. I divided these up by classroom and then I used the club doors. So that's how I assign kids or teens to um, their classrooms. Now, depending on how you want to do it, because clubs have limited space, you can use, you can assign a teacher, which I do. I assigned, uh, let's see, yes, for the Windenburg Wildcats, uh, the teacher that I assigned to this um, class or to the team is Coach uh, Angel Santiago. And, um, but, you know, we also know that there's only like what there's eight slots here. So if you don't want to uh, waste slots on adults, uh, quote unquote teachers, you can, you know, forgo having uh, an adult supervision for that club and just, you know, assign all teens. All right. So the drawback to this is you have to, well, it is a commercial lot and we'll go into build mode really quickly. All right, so I had to um, assign a lot type for this commercial build. It had to be, I assigned it, first I just assigned it as generic, but it wasn't working correctly the way I assigned it for some reason with a generic or with a generic type. So I ended up creating it, um, creating a lot type, creating the lot type as a library. Um, it works perfectly for a high school. Um, the students come here and study and, um, things like that. So let's go back into live mode. Now, um, again, you can assign it generic or library. Library seems to work the best. Um, I'm not really sure. I think there's probably other options you can use. I guess you can even use it as a restaurant, but I mean with the cafeteria, but that could actually um, make this lot even more crowded. And I will say because this lot um, is so busy, um, it does take a little while to load because it is a big lot and it has a lot in it. Um, so if you choose to build your own high school or use the one that I have here, um, and I can give you the information if you'd like in the description, uh, where you can find this build, um, uh, you, I would, I would, um, recommend 
using library as your lot type. All right, so I have several different clubs, like I said before, going on in this um, in this high school. I have a study group. Um, I have the art class. I have the music class. I have the gardening class, um, and I have um, the basketball team. And you can also um, assign a swim team. That's another club that you can add. And then you can give them access to, well, okay, because I have the club door for um, the weight room being for um, the Windenburg Wildcats, you, you know, you, I don't know, I guess you could put two doors here. You could, I mean, it, it would take away from the realism of it, but I guess you could use two doors here and assign the swim team or something like that. But, um, let me see, what else? I had notes here, but I'm really not sure if, um, oh yeah, so one of the cons for, one of the cons I should say is that the schedule time, kids are, um, they do have to go to school in the game. So because what I do is um, I utilize seasons, um, I utilize the calendar and seasons. And what I do is if I want to set up something for my let's play, I will, um, I will create a holiday and, um, you know, set like time off from school and then go into the high school and, and play the scenario out there. Or I will wait to the weekend. I was trying to set up time after school, but because uh, time goes so fast in the Sims game. You can't really, well, you can, but it's so late. Sims are tired and then you got to deal with that. So it's easier to, to um, play in this lot or on this lot on weekends and holidays. Um, and of course, with the seasons, you can set up holidays, hell, hell, holidays. You can set up holidays as you will. Another con is um, you can set this up as a teen lot, teen neighborhood, but you cannot. Um, you cannot keep um, all sim types from using this lot. So if you're going for a realism and you see a, a five-year-old <laughs> or a seven-year-old, eight-year-old, like a child walking through a high school, you know, it is what it is. You just kind of have to go with it, ignore it. But anyways, that's really all I wanted to tell you guys. That's just how, what I use or how I utilize the clubs in, um, the game um i do hope that was helpful um if you have other ways that you use the clubs let me know i'd like to hear about it in the comment section um and maybe uh we can start a discussion uh now that's all i have for you today guys and i'll give you the the usual spiel if you're not a member of our family why aren't you why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll uh be notified every time i upload and until then next until then guys i'll see you later